You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. Yep. Oh, AfterBuzz TV! AfterBuzz TV! The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Hit the Floor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Hit the Floor After Show. Ready over here. <laughs> hey there, HTF fans. Welcome to After Buzz TV. Thing is for doing, and today we're doing one of your favorite shows, Hit the Floor. Now, if this is the first time you joined us, we give you some pretty excellent commentary along with some pretty special guests. So before we get into that, allow me to introduce your series regular co-hosts, starting with this man over here. Oh, God. I mean, uh, oh, so okay. Ellen, what's going on? Hey, <laughs> hey guys, it's Layla. What's up? Nick Perdue. And I'm Ali Kona Bradford, and joining us on this couch over here is the stunning and beautiful Valerie Ortiz. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm excited. We're excited to have say. you. Can I can I just say one thing Please. Uh, for the viewers? If you, if you can't see it, but her eyes are amazing. <laughs> These things, man, this is ridiculous. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, I, just, I just had to. <laughs> Do you want sunglasses? You can go. Okay, yeah. uh, we can. We can. Oh, okay, you. puts on the shades. Hold on. Oh, uh, he might get hypnotized. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. This kid. So anyway. Great job. Uh, no, you know I want to say though, you're such a multi-talented individual. I mean, you act, you host, you dance. There's something else that you do that I'm missing. You sing. Oh. You can do a little bit of everything. <laughs> so I mean, you're you're kind of like all over the place. But how did you prepare for the auditions for Hit the Floor? Oh my gosh, um, it was crazy because I've never had an audition that had scenes and dancing. And I mean, I danced when I was a kid, but I mean, compared to like the girls on our show, I mean, they're like <laughs> amazing. So I, after I saw them, I was like. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Taking that off my right. resume. Uh, um, but actually, Katrina Norman, who plays Danielle, she's actually on the show today. Um, and speaking, like she was on the show the whole season. But she helped me a lot with my choreography. Like, I did a little bit, and I made it up. And then, like, the next callback, it was like, all right, like, do that again. But, you know, add some more. So then I did that again. And then for, I think, the final... Um, Tess, she came and she's so sweet. Uh, she's with my manager too, and she helped me out, which was like so nice. Awesome. Like yeah. you know, like it's not like we were like BFFs or anything. And she came to my house and totally did that. Aww. So uh, it she's was crazy. good people. She yeah. is. She's good people. I know. You know. Yeah. Um, so did you have like the one-on-one -on -one private audition? Because Kat was talking about an audition she had with James Larosa. Did you have to do we that too? We all did. Yes. Oh. Um, it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if they had a special one. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, we all did. It was funny too because a really cool moment was I don't remember which callback it was, but um, one of the callbacks literally Tay went in, Taylor, and then came out, and you know, Kat and I were in the little um, lobby, and I was like, hey guys, and then Kat went in, and then I went in, and so then when we came back for the test, it was like kind of cute, like that we all saw each other and kind of like chatted it up in the lobby, and it was like. We got it. I was like, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's good. It's funny that you say that because it didn't dawn on me actually until this episode that you don't dance. Because no. in my mind, I'm like, oh, Kel is a dancer. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking, gosh, mm -hmm. I wonder if Valerie ever watches this and is like, man, I wish I was dancing with the girls. Yeah, <laughs> some of them, uh, definitely, especially seeing the rehearsals. And I mean, they look so good. And I'm like, ah, the water pool dance <laughs> was so hot. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you definitely want to be a part of those things. Um, but I like my storyline. It's, yeah. you know, well, yeah. it's going to look, you know, has its own little thin happening. So. Drama filled. Yeah. You know what I love about your character, though? I feel like she's so comfortable in her own skin. No matter what situation comes at her, be it embarrassing, challenging, she just takes it and just goes with it. I think that has a lot to do with being a mother. I feel like, I mean, I don't have a kid myself, but when you have something that you have to take care of, um, 
that's kind of like what you do. Like mm -hmm. it is, you kind of have to pick yourself up, figure it out and move on. And I mean, I'm sure she has breakdowns and days where she's like, F my life or whatever. Um, especially with Jesse. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Bernard. Right. 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 <laughs> New beginnings though. Right? <laughs> uh, wah, wah. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's her motivation. Now, speaking of Jesse, isn't that your real husband's name? It totally isn't is. Isn't that How weird? How awkward. How I weird. know. Everybody's like, this is weird. I mean, <laughs> even him, he's like, uh, oh, this is kind of strange. Yeah. At least you won't mess the names up, though. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. It's <laughs> smooth. <laughs> I know. But does he ever like watch it and tease you? I mean, you kind of made out with Superman. Yeah, yeah. no, the whole family. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, seriously, like my brother posted back there. I'm gonna call you out. Um, this thing on Facebook, and it was just like, there's this like alternate universe where my sister is like making out with Superman and has like this weird thing going on, and like you know the whole family's like, oh my god. But Jesse, you're number one. <laughs> like straight up posting like screen it. captures of the kiss on Facebook. Aww, that's awesome. <laughs> that's but funny. Which one of you guys? We were watching it last week, and they're like, oh, oh, waiting for the uniform to come out. Who was it? You? I think, I think no, that was uh, what's that was Rob, wasn't that it? That was Rob. Oh, oh how funny. funny. Yeah. How funny. <laughs> that's yeah. funny. Yeah. Want to see that S on his on his chest? Yeah. Right, right. right. Yeah. S on his chest for mm -hmm. Sloan these days, yeah. apparently. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. okay, let's talk about that a minute because we opened up and it was like hot yeah <laughs> like i was to say just like i don't know how to say it politically correct so i'm just I mean, not gonna he say basically yeah. busted the door down superman style yeah you know <laughs> More i kind of wanted like a little curl to cut <laughs> just come out and, yeah and just kind of you know yeah. cape just comes out of, and you know just, yeah. just throws her against the wall and blah, you know uh, how was that again i mean uh, <laughs> oh, okay just checking <laughs> Yeah, I they know. So, wasted I mean, yeah. no time. You know what, though? But I'm kind of glad the way they took the storyline, because I thought your character was going to end up being really heartbroken. And instead, she did mm -hmm. the right thing, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, for her friend Asha. Like, that would be awkward, though, if that is, like, your really good friend. And you can't be hooking up with her dad. It's just right. No. no. I mean, you can. I mean, you can. <laughs> I was going to say, well, yeah. you know, time to tell for Raquel. No, yeah. but she didn't. She did the right thing. Where, does Raquel work with anybody else? <laughs> She does. She holds it down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have cocktail yeah. servers there? Like, what? <laughs> you will see them around, but I don't really talk to them often. At least that y'all see, but mm -hmm. she does. <laughs> you know, you're, there's a few scenes with your the pretend Jesse mm -hmm. ex-husband. Um, I don't know about his character. I'm sure we'll find out what's going on, but he's got like some sort of weird ulterior motive because I feel like all the scenes with you are so awkward and right mm -hmm. all of a sudden he ca cares about miguel asking about his game and it's like what right like, hey that's a, that's a classic then, thing though i know but yeah. then you feel like especially for somebody like raquel it's just like you're ugh, i know this is bull but okay like prove me wrong like come on mm -hmm. right but, mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. If he's persistent, though. But do we know anything about their past relationship or their history? Or is there any backstory that you can tell us that we don't know about? Right. I mean, they obviously met when I was a devil girl years ago. And it was what it was. And he cheated. And that's, you know, why we went. Do um, we know who he cheated with? We don't. Are we going to find mm -hmm. out? Mia? Know. Was it oh, James? Mia. 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 James. Um, we don't. But I feel like... Um, that's the thing. It's like he's always been a douche. So for him to now come out and like yeah. act like he cares, it's like. But I think it's because he's kind of a little bit like, oh, I don't want her hooking up with Coach Pete. So now right. I'm going to give, you know, give yeah. a crap. That's what she told him. It's like, I know this. Like, I know this little game you're doing. Yeah. Like, and as soon as she called him out, he was like, mm. Right. Yeah. And then walked away. Back, he walked yeah. away. <laughs> and she's yeah. like, oh, shit. Now I'm messed up again. Right, right, right. <laughs> what were you going to say? Sorry. I was really. What do you mean? I don't know. You look like was, you want, and I oh, cut you maybe. off. Maybe. No, I was going to say the F bomb, but then I was like, wait, oh. can I say that? No. I mean, technically, we wouldn't stop you, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, pretty much, she's not in a good position to make him mad. Right. So. Mm. But why? I don't understand. Like, what does he have older her, over her? Just like money and power, yeah, I mean, basically? It's, well, because she, he can take her child away. I mean, he can afford to, you know, give him a good life. Like, obviously, I'm, like, trying to make my ends mm -hmm. meet. And he knows so many people. And he can pay people off to, you know, win a case or whatever. Right. So that alone, I mean, he has everything. Because he has the, ch the possibility of taking my son away. And for me, it's kind of like Raquel. Um, the fact that he has that hold on me. And he knows, like, how much, like, Miguel means to me. So... 
die. He's like playing me like a puppet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. but lo luckily it seems like you're, you're getting stronger and stronger with having, uh, you know, your, your lawyer now that can kind of defend you right. in, the, right. in your case. Mm -hmm. So you Thanks have a little bit Coach of work Davenport. in room. Right. Coach, I know. Uh, exactly. Was, going back to Pete and Sloan, did she do, did, was she, is she pregnant? I don't she's know. pregnant. Yeah, what was that? She's pregnant, man. No. <laughs> No. She is no. pregnant. Maybe she was she just remembering like, remember when she was pregnant. pregnant. Beyonce did that at yeah. the yeah. Grammys or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> she was, same thing. That's what I was thinking. It was either a memory when she yeah. did that or I thought, does she have a, I don't know, this is way far reaching, but I was like, does she have an eating disorder? Or is she like, oh, no, my body's not the way she, she was just, pulling out all her dance stuff and right. trying it. So maybe that was either like, oh, I'm not as skinny as I was or. I'm hungry. I don't oh. know. That's, that's what no, she's starting to dance now. If you have sex with Superman more than three times in one day, but it wasn't one day though. Yeah, oh, okay. We don't. Well, yeah. You know, it was. It was you know over a period of time. But That's no, what I'm, happens. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that she, she's not pregnant because I was on Twitter and people were talking about it. And Kimberly Elise was like, "No, that's not what, what happened." But could you yeah. imagine? I mean, <laughs> like where the story would go, that'd be Gosh. a little bit. Then, then little Miguel will have someone. To be right. Oh. Oh. I'm, wait, I'm like waiting for the day that Asha walks in. Like I said at the uh, beginning of the show, gonna, like, it's gonna happen. Uh, but I mean, it's just it's her parents. I know, but she didn't know so. that was her dad, and like, mm, mm, I mean, she knows sex with them, so but it's okay. Even so, okay, you know your parents are your parents, and you came from somewhere, but you right. would not appreciate walking in on them. I definitely wouldn't appreciate walking in on them. But, you know, it's it's a way of life, you know, they're both human beings. I mean, it's probably not going to happen, but, you know, it's, they're both human beings, so, you know. Just call first. Yeah, Same. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you always call. knock on the door, you know. They get excited. They didn't get excited, I wouldn't be here, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, shout out to <laughs> All right, good excited. point. Well, uh, speaking of getting excited, I want to talk a little bit about Derek and his involvement with Asha and the whole, like, we're getting to know him a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And it makes me mad because I'm like, you're falling for that typical, this guy is broken, he's mm -hmm. troubled, and I'm going to try to fix you. Mm -hmm. Girl. Typical. You know, and then she's over here telling Yelena to mind her own man. Why don't you mind your own man? That's what I'm thinking. She, she, she set him up. She's a human being, she said. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, no takers. No, she, of course no, she no she commentary. cares. After that kiss, at least you know she's gonna feel a little bit of something. So not seeing him, you know him for a couple of days, and she's worried about him. I think she feels bad because like no one else really cares about him. He's like one of right. those people that just like has all the people around, but no one actually cares. So right. she just is like, this is sad, you know. And I want to just make sure he's okay if no one is checking on him. So, right, right, right. But I think. Something she she's attracted to him, and you know she feels Obviously. she's she's getting closer and closer. But she's and overcompensating. You know what I mean? It's like she feels so guilty for what her attraction is towards Derek mm -hmm. that she turns around and when German is in her presence, she's like, "Oh, baby." Yeah, like, tries extra. too hard. <laughs> and then the conversation with her and Sloane on the couch about, "Oh, it's it's you know it's hard keeping this relationship going because I think she is starting to have yeah. feelings." Right. So right. or, you know. And what do you do in that situation? I don't know. Know. I'm German. I'm German. Both, right? <laughs> no. You know, I want to jump over to Elena because I really don't understand why everybody is so afraid of her. Because she, she's like this tiny little thing. And I'm looking at you because your character in the beginning was the first and only character to really truly step up to her, right. which of course bit you in the butt, basically. Right. And got well, that's off. the thing because she's so sneaky and so yeah. manipulative that you're kind of like. God, like, why do you have to be this way? And you, mm -hmm. obviously, at that point, there's so much going on with Raquel that she was like, F this, like, I don't care about you. I'm going to call you out. But she, you, she's kind of very similar to Jesse in the way that, like, they're very good at, like, telling you what you want to hear, putting on face, and then in the background, they're like, beep, 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 I'm going to yeah. do this and tell this person. And then, like, that's the thing with her. Like, you just don't mm -hmm. know. And I mean, obviously, like, she's, Right before a big performance, it's like, you know, <laughs> your father, like, yeah. right, 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 you right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. like, uh, she needs to get knocked out like, now. <laughs> but even, you know, so even, I don't know if it was last week or the week before when Raquel had asked her, like, tell me the truth, like, for real, did right. you have anything to do with it? And she pretty much admitted it. And I'm like, you know what? Raquel is a lot bigger than Yelena. Yeah. Like, just That's throw an elbow. <sighs> but she, <laughs> you they, know? she has a heart. Like, you know, obviously, yeah. it's like, for somebody to be that way and, and do so much, it's like there's obviously something going on. I mean, she's right. not totally evil. Like, and, and Raquel and her used to have friends. I mean, used to be friends. Right. Yeah. They used to have friends. Yeah. Uh, they used to be really good friends. And I think that's why it was such a big deal, like, why it hurt so much. Because right. it was, like, mm -hmm. really, like, out of... Out of all this, like we've gone through so much, but you really went like 
that like for real mm -hmm. and now you want to act like you didn't do anything like right mm -hmm. come on girl but do you think that Raquel used to roll like Yelena and be mean like that I wish she did. No, I don't think. Maybe before Miguel. Um, no, I don't think so. Like, I just, I really do feel like she, Raquel is who she is, and, and she is that friend, that she listens. Mm -hmm. She goes with her heart way too often. Yeah. <laughs> um, do but, you, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but Yelena, I, I, she is that person you love to hate, but she's just, she's scary because you don't know what she can do. Right. That's what's scary. It's just yeah. like, if you mm -hmm. get her mad, mm -hmm. what is she going to do? And she knows right. everything, and she has all this information, and she just, like, That's chooses her saying. times to, like, you know. She's good at getting yeah. what she wants, so. And I think the beautiful thing about Elena is that, like, you know that she's always thinking about something. Like, oh, there's yeah. always something going on in her head, yeah. you know. So even though, like, on the outside, okay, she's smiling, this and that, yada, yada, yada. But she's, you know, okay, like, Steaming. I know how to, yeah. yeah. Right. And we see that she's kind of not happy, too, and she's... So say Terrence does get traded, or you know, there's that trade talk. Pulls a Dwight Howard up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sports <laughs> talk. <laughs> yeah, and first of all, and I didn't know like Westbrook might come to the LA Devils Westbrook. or the uh, or a host. Do they say? Who is that? Westbrook. Wait. Russell Westbrook is a, is a point guard on the uh, Oklahoma Thunder. Or Tony oh. Parker from San Antonio. Yeah, from San Antonio. Yeah. I don't think Tony Parker's gonna leave. But yeah, no, you know. what I was gonna say is like, if Terrence does leave, does that knock her off her high horse? Like, because people, I mean. We'll start scheming. Uh, well, I mean, how about this, though? She didn't even know. Her boyfriend's doing all this stuff behind her back, and she mm -hmm. didn't even know. Just like right. the restaurant, obviously, it worked yeah. out in her favor. But with this situation, the one person that you're hating right now, which is Asha, is the person that delivered that yeah. news to you. Yeah. And Asha kind of pulled a Yelena. Yeah, even she, though yeah. she really didn't know what she was doing. She did. Yeah. She's getting braver. It was, it was great. It was like, okay, check ball. And that's basically yeah. right. <laughs> right, right, right. No, you know, I was going to say, and this may be going back somewhat serious, but do you find that your character kind of parallels a little bit of you and who you are outside of just, you know, the husbands being the same name? <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, your yeah. character was so brave and she stood up to the bully, if you will, of the mm -hmm. show, but then you also do a lot of stuff, not necessarily spokesperson-wise, mm -hmm. but I know you're really involved in, like, anti-bullying campaigns right. and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I, we definitely have a lot of similarities. I I overthink things a lot more than Raquel does. I don't, I don't know so much if I'd be brave with, especially with the Jesse and just different things. I just know I'm more like, well, what about you know? <laughs> um, and Raquel's like, bah, 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 you know, yeah. like, and I'm gonna kiss you now. Um, <laughs> and Valor would be like, well, it's probably not a good idea. Um, but definitely, I mean, I, I feel like what I, one of the biggest things that I'm very similar to Raquel is like, she's like. The, your best friend and you know I really like to listen and stuff but it's like do the wrong thing and it's just I could be your worst enemy you know yeah. it's like well I you don't you know what is it don't mistake kindness for weakness kind yeah. of thing and yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. very much Raquel it's like mess with her family or her son or anything that has to do with that bubble and you're talking serious business and I right. think that's how I am like I'll be I'm so chill whatever easy going but if it's especially with my family like ooh Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> yeah. So Aww. that's yeah. Do you think that we'll see any romance in her future? I hope. I don't know. You will. You have to watch. Come Maybe. Jesse. Okay. Please don't. Jesse. Jesse. Please, don't. Please, don't. Please, don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm curious as to what the audience thinks about that. If if he did get better, if it'd be like, yeah, go for it. He is your baby daddy. It's going to ah. end bad, though. You know, like, when somebody <laughs> no. does, I mean, there are certain things that you can forgive, but when right. he's being, like, malicious, how right. do you really forgive that? Yeah. You can't go back and trust that. Because he loved her. He yeah. loved her, so he was a butthole? Yeah, so he cheated on her? No. <laughs> right. No. Flowers help, okay? Uh-uh. Yeah, I was a little bit like, oh, when I found out the line. flyers were from him. That was a great line what? about his funeral, too. That was, oh. that was a good line. Aw, uh, James. Um, yeah, that, oh, my God, how yeah. funny. Like. <laughs> There's been so many moments for Raquel where she thinks it's one thing and like it's totally something else. Yeah. It's just like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad when Mia stole her badge. That Ew, she's yeah. sneaky yeah. hug. Sneaky. What she's, is a, she's a crackhead. Like, yeah. she's, she's she looks yeah. like her. I, mean. I don't know how I feel about her character, to be honest <laughs> with you guys. Like she's so it's funny because she I don't know, she just she's comes like off as so vampire. weak to me. <laughs> I don't know. Like she's always 
not whiny, but whiny, if you will. I, don't know. I think too, it's because there's so much you still don't know, and I think right. that's yeah. a thing. Nobody should know what to feel about her because it's like, but why? Like, why are you back? Why were you gone? What are you looking for, Asha? What badge? Right? You know, yeah. like, like there's so much that you don't know, yeah. and why she's so. Well, it's the right. uniform, but the, and the microphone that's in the uniform. Right. That's what she's looking for. And obviously a conversation had happened that somehow she was either defamed or something happened to where she was blackmailed. Yeah, people are looking for her. That's what she said in, like, the last episode, I believe. But is it, like, a life or death situation? Because she's so... It could be. I, I mean, I I mean it's got to be, like, thing. something. I mean, maybe or not, jail like... jail time. Something. Drugs. That that could be. Or maybe, or maybe she has yeah. a kid and she's trying to get her kid back. Maybe her kid's in the uniform. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a small kid. Ah. <laughs> Prediction. Sorry. That's messed up with wow. oh, God. So I mean, I know you probably can't let on too much about what's happening right. in the future, but at the same time, are we going to find out? Or are they you will. Be you, I mean. As this, I mean, we're God. It's a crazy. Yeah. Yeah. we're almost done. Yeah. With this what season. episode number are we on? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Oh my God. There's only three more. Uh, That's crazy. But yes, they get more revealing, juicier, and it's just nuts. Hmm. On edge about that one. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll find out. I mean, the whole thing, and it was crazy too because um, we've been wondering where Mia was, who Mia was since yeah. the pilot. Right. So I feel like that's why it's such a big, you know, effect right. on everybody. I'm like, but what? What is happening? Right. Like, what is the issue? Why is it so important? Mm -hmm. You'll know. Well, you know, it's funny as I expected personally, because the way people talked about her so much, I mean, I knew she was run out of town, but I really anticipated a very strong character personality. Mm -hmm. So when she did come on the show and she was such a... I don't know, mm -hmm. fragile type personality. Yeah. It was almost disappointing. Right, I know what you mean, but there's a reason for that. I, I mean, right, especially if she was as good as Yelena. Right, she was yeah. exactly. The, so you have to wonder, and that's why, you know, you need to watch more. Yeah. Because <laughs> why, what got her from somebody that strong, you know, so that, that yeah. Yelena was intimidated yeah. Yeah. by, right. to now you left, like you were gone. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Drugs. I wanted her to bring the Drugs. thunder, and I wanted her to go head to head with Yelena, and I wanted to see them like fight, fight. duke it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I think head we're all good. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. I thought Cat height. was gonna f try to fight her or something. No, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, that was, was, that was, was, kind of I mean, that was such an awkward <laughs> interaction. I, know, I thought, kill, I thought kill Bill style was gonna happen in there, and then she just she just ran. Yeah. And like, what? what just happened? Like, that's, that's, that's such like a drug addict thing to do. Right? <laughs> you're right. so stuck you're on stuck. the fact that she does drugs right yeah, now. Yeah. Listen, I, I, I want to have her have to have chap lips and be scratching on her neck so we know <laughs> she's really like, you need to stop with that. Oh, we, no. I don't know what she's... Oh, man. You know what, though? See, I'm going to start calling her Cat, but Dylan's I character, no, I want to talk about her. Kyle. 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 <laughs> Who, who's Dylan? I don't know. Uh, somebody Kat. I just totally made up. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it's a unisex name, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talking about Kyle's character, because she's so smart. And we talked about it last week, too. Like, I really mm -hmm. want to know what it is that she's trying to get this money for yeah. to purchase freedom or whatever it is. She was trying to pay the guy right. in the episode tonight. And he totally was like, It's an $80,000 check. And he was like, no. So yeah. what? Well, yeah, I can't believe she didn't have anything yeah. else. Yeah, 752000 Yeah, 80000 <laughs> 80, But she's yeah, been that's... working hard at this for, like, at least three or four episodes. Yeah. Right. Where's the rest of it? She's just spending it. But mm. she was super clever the way she worked that panel and she did her homework. <laughs> I love that. Yes. That, was so good. that was awesome. Yeah. That scene was awesome. The, something that's really cool is like, you know, after doing the table reads and reading the stuff, like we don't get to see everybody's scenes when they're yeah. shot. So that's like I literally was like straight up groupie fan when I was like, Oh yeah, she's wearing flats and pearls. You're so funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I loved that scene. Can you tell me, just for somebody who isn't an actor and they don't know anything about that world, like how does that come into fruition starting from I got the script to shooting like that day as far as like a table read and how many times you get to practice or how long? Oh my gosh. Um well the table reads I'll just speak on behalf of Hit the Floor, like we'll do that. Well we shot two I think you guys have talked about it with other actors two episodes at a, um, time. at a time right so we do the table read at the beginning of that like block and then read both episodes and then we would just start shooting and it was very like bizarre because you'd be shooting like two different episodes two different blocks like simultaneously so that got confusing um, but then I mean it's just different for some people because some shows like you'll shoot and then like weeks later like you're on air like for us 
we sh especially the pilot. Can we talk about how we did that like last year forever ago? <laughs> and and um, by the time we found out we got picked up and then we actually started filming, that took a long time. But um, we actually had done some reshoots too that were shown in this episode. Um, fun fact, yay. Um, <laughs> but it took what? Like we finished in February, March, like April mm -hmm. and then here we are. So. But how long, like how much time did you have to study to, your lines per se before Well, you... see, I didn't work every, like somebody like Taylor, who was like literally working every single day, learning choreography. I mean, a lot of the girls, I mean, holy crap. I mean, yeah. like mm -hmm. seriously, yeah. it's, it's hard because you can't, and a lot of the dancers have um, talked about this, you can't see all the work that's put into the show in this one hour, especially the dancers and actors who do both. I mean, really everybody, but I mean, these girls, I mean, are doing scenes and then going to dance rehearsal and then going back to doing a scene, then shooting like, you know, something, some interview. And it's unbelievable. And then you see like this little one minute thing. You're like, that was so great. And it's like, if you only knew, <laughs> yeah, how like, much they have like that. bruises, like yeah. their hip is like out. <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. So, I mean, somebody like Taylor would be learning lines literally as she, like, as she reads. And then, I mean, I, I do it by, I get these little, little stickers and I put like, well, Tuesday I have this. And I kind of like order it up, like what goes first for me mm -hmm. so I can kind of learn what I need to learn according to like when I film it. Um, that's my method. Oh, yeah, cool. So can you tell us, this is kind of random, but like, what would be your most embarrassing moment? Not necessarily hit the floor, but just in general in your career. Do you have something where you're like, oh, oh my God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I probably have a lot. But the first thing, <laughs> ah, the first thing that came to my head, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know what's going through my head right now? Like, will my publicist be, or like people be like, why did you say that? But I'm going to tell you. Um, so... In Florida, like I that where I grew up in Orlando, um, for no for everybody who doesn't know, but um, I used to do like little commercial auditions, whatever. And I had this audition for Wet and Wild, yay! Mm -hmm. um, it's that's a, a water park, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm that story. Okay. Story. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm glad I said that. Um, <laughs> See, we have one in Vegas, so I'm like, oh, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. We have raging uh, waters out here. Uh, uh, excuse. Yeah, Hurricane Harbor. Something totally yeah, no, Wet and Wild is a water park, people. Um, <laughs> and so, of course, you have to do some suit, like little shorts or whatever. So I get in, I'm kind of running late, and like I used to like sweat a lot. I know, TMI. So I would put like <laughs> these little paper towels underneath my arms, uh -huh. and then I had like a t shirt on. Oh, God, you guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, like, I would put the little, and then it's Florida. It's so yeah. darn humid. Okay. So I'm like, put, I put it on, so I'm going to my dish, and I go out, and then it's like, they're already calling the girls into the room. So they're like, all right, take off your clothes and be in your swimsuit. So I'm like, in the room, like, like camera, like the gr other girls are there, like, casting. I take it off, and like, my little paper towel things fall to the ground, and I was just like, <laughs> Oh my God, like <laughs> nobody thinks I have little paper towels because I sweat under my armpits. Like they think it's I'm uh, like stuffing uh, my bra. And I was like, <gasps> tick, 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 tick. you know, like, what do you do? And then it's like, you don't have clothes on. Like right. you just holding it in your hand in a fist. And, and you're like, yeah. you're stuff I know, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, do I get it? Uh, <laughs> I booked it. <laughs> um, that was, I mean, the first thing that came to my head as far as, like, the auditioning thing, and you're just like... That's hilarious. Uh, I was waiting funny. for you to say that you had, like, little Kleenex balls or something I in wish. your arm. I probably <laughs> did. I probably <laughs> did. Didn't. Thanks. Now I feel worse. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that's the first thing that came to my head. I hated that. And, that's and what about your best moment in your career? Um... <clears throat> oh, God. I want to say the premiere of date movie because my brother came uh, yeah he has that movie I, I have the DVD. yay uh. that was because i'm obs like i love j-lo like all my friends know <laughs> so like when i got that my friends were like what and i was like <laughs> i know <laughs> so that was great like that was crazy like and i still feel like that a lot of times like again i told you how i am so close with my family and i that just, I still feel like I look, I'm outside looking in a lot. And that was that moment. And my brother came and he, he accompanied me to the premiere. That was my first movie premiere. Like, I'm on the poster. Like, mm -hmm. it, that's just bizarre. Like, 
I'm like I'm doing like I'm oh my yeah. god I'm doing and my brother were like this so that was such an um, just cool amazing we'll never forget it kind of moment did you ever get to meet her yes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my friend Melissa Molinaire who uh, was in the pilot and you'll well, you'll see her again. Um, she knows her because she's really good friends with Casper. Oh, and okay. oh my God, so she knew how obsessed I was. And she invited me to American Idol one day. And I got to meet her. And I was, that was another oh. moment. I'm like driving back home. I'm like, oh my God, like I, I just met Jennifer Lopez. Like Valerie, like <laughs> you've been talking about this forever. You yeah. just met her. She was so cool, sweet, like she's yeah. anything stupid. Did you do Jennifer Lopez to Jennifer uh, Lopez? No. No, I didn't. Did oh she my God, how awkward. And it was like so fast. Did oh, she so did she reference the fact that you played oh, her? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she probably didn't. I mean, and then I got to see her again at uh, her birthday, Melissa's birthday party. And Jesse and I had like dinner with her and like across from her. Like, that's just like, I was just like a little kid. You know, yeah. like, yeah, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. You just started like sweating and then. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like, paper doll. <laughs> double, double paper doll roll. Oh, don't judge me. One wild dinner. <laughs> 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 Two five two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, she she was cool. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah. So how long? I know mean, because you started hosting first, and then you got into acting. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing that? And what is your training background for hosting? <laughs> Home videos with Hector. Um, really, for real, like nothing. Um, I started it in Florida. I did this Nickelodeon show called Splat Live TV with Kids, which is I probably all the training you need to get um, <laughs> because that's like hard, you know. And then you're like, go, oh, and it's slime and ah. Um, <laughs> so I did that, and then I came out here on a road trip with uh, a friend from the show, and then stayed. And then my very first job out here was a hosting job for LA TV. And the rest is history. It's crazy. I but just, did you take any acting classes or you just fell into it? No, acting, yes. Um, I was going to Dr. Phillips Theater Magnet in Orlando, Florida. Woo, woo, 4276. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and, you know, I was in plays and stuff. I mean, I got my first headshot in, like, my senior year. And I feel like I started late, especially compared to people out here. Like, I didn't know what an agent was and stuff till like, legit my senior year. Um... But yeah, that was it. And, I mean, I started going to college, University of Central Florida, for theater and all that stuff. And you started with ballet, right? Like when I was a when, kid, yeah. You started yeah. doing ballet, and is that kind of what sparked you for entertainment, or? I think so. I mean, I definitely dance was definitely my first love. Like the acting and hosting and funny that kind of stuff was all heck. All my brother because he was always like doing stuff and stop motion animation this and like this. You know, I was hosting the show, and he's, like, the stunt man, and, like, you know, we were just doing stuff, like, all the time, like, all these cool movies. Uh, <laughs> they're so cool. They're cool. <laughs> I'm not biased. Um, and, but I definitely love to dance, and then I was in Nutcracker. Oh, that was an embarrassing Whoa. moment. Okay, Share. real quick. Okay. Um, my very first, oh, God, you guys, my very first showing of uh, the Nutcracker was at the Bob Carr Theater. It was, like, this big performing arts center. And we had little hair pieces, like, you know, to make our hair, the little party girl's hair, like, bounce. <laughs> and I had, like, a little bun. And so I had this dance with this little uh, boy, and he, I thought he was, like, so cute, you know. <laughs> and so then my dad on the show, he's, like, playing with my hair. And then the little party girls are supposed to, like, skip, skip, whatever, and go to the front and do this little dance. How about all of a sudden I see curls on the ground and all these ballerinas, <laughs> like, bing. Bing, and it's like going like this, trying to get it to the wings. And my dance partner's like, your hair's gone. And I was like, oh. oh my God. Like I died, one, because he told me that. Two, because, and you know I have a complex now. Like if my hair's like all pulled back and you see no hair, I'm like, I look bald. And it's because of that moment. And I'm like so embarrassed. And then it was just so funny to see like these like little feet, like bing, bing. <laughs> and like hair being tossed to the wings and then they I went to the wings and they put it back on but I was like a bawling hot mess after Aww. that show cause like how embarrassing right right <laughs> you're like I made it damn no. <laughs> right and the man of your dreams just told I, me so yeah. too of course yeah. um so yeah dancing was what I like to do but then I think once I got into middle school especially with ballet I was a little bored and I just kind of stopped do you still take dance class, like, here and there? Here and there, yeah. I'm, like, obsessed with, like, Zumba hip-hop that my friend John, like, teaches. And then I did, like, at L.A. Valley College. 
um, during the summer, like before we started the show, like took ballet, which I was like so nervous. I was like, like anxious. I was like, oh my god, I'm like I'm going back to school. <laughs> it was like so weird. <laughs> I felt so nervous, but yeah. I mean, I for fun, yeah. So your husband is also in the entertainment industry as well. He's a singer. Is that something, how does your, the dynamic of your relationship work? Because I know sometimes with two entertainers, it's one thing, but also, you know, you're, you're achieving so much success in your career. Um, and I'm not, I'm, I apologize because I'm not super, super familiar with mm -hmm. him, but is that hard for him or he's just like totally cool and supportive? And oh, just... he is so. With Jesse, it's like we get each. I mean, I've known him since high school. It's like we're like little kids, you know, like we're just like, let's play board games. And we're just like silly together. And like he gets like why I get nervous about stuff. And, and like we just get each other. And he's so like helpful. Like you have no idea on like everything. And it's, so it's just I feel like it's the best of both worlds because it's just like we get to help each other, amp each other up. And you know, he's doing his thing, and, and then I get to do mine, and then, like, once we're, like, oh, it's, like, oh, my gosh, okay, this, and then, like, oh, my God, that note was bad, oh, <laughs> and, like, oh, my God, I was sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's actually been great. Like, I feel really lucky just because, you know, you have, and then, you know, that sounds so corny, but to be married to your best friend and just feel like you have, like, that, like, <gasps> secure person that knows everything, and you can just not be scared around or you know yeah it's especially in this business like you mm -hmm. feel like you're everybody's like judging you mm -hmm. all the time so yeah i was just saying because it can either go one or the other way just mm -hmm. like that or if you have mm -hmm. two really talented people in a relationship i think sometimes it can be competitive too obviously that's an unhealthy relationship mm -hmm. right but you know what yeah. i mean and then also too going back into the show then you do have somebody like yelena and terrence who could potentially be a power couple mm -hmm. but then okay. i don't know what's going on with yelena <laughs> I know. You know, but I mean, you have to understand with Yelena that Terrence is that guy. Like, she doesn't talk to a lot of people. Like, she doesn't open up to a lot of people. And for her, I think that was definitely one of those moments that it was like knife, you know, in the yeah. stomach, where it's just like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, somebody that you're always competing against tells you something about your man, mm -hmm. which that's awkward for the ladies. Like, come on, like some other girl knows something. You're like, right. what? You right. know, like, what? Especially something like that. Yeah. You're like, yeah. OMD, you know? Um, so that's definitely for her, her little, her weakness. It's like yeah. this guy is her every, like, you know, she tells stuff to you, and now it's like, what's happening? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of nice to see those moments, especially with Yelena, because you see her do all these things, and she's so mean, and ah. But then to see these little um, sparkles of, like, heart, you know, of, like, Okay, she was hurt. Like, some, yeah. there's something deeper to that relationship yeah. and to whatever, what was going on, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, I'm saying we saw it a little bit in the scene where you got the flowers and it wasn't her, and then going into the actual moment with her and Asha and her getting that information. And now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever really seen her be friends with anybody. Like, does she even have friends? Right. You know? I mean, who, no. needs, who needs friends yeah. when, when know. the public loves you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, good uh, point. <laughs> I guess. Or, or no, they, they used to, but, yeah. you know, uh, Asha tested higher than uh, yeah, that's right. with the, the calendar. calendar show, yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that video footage because. She had, Yelena had some video footage that she, I thought, was going to blackmail Asha with at one point because it was her and Derek interacting at the oh, calendar yeah, shoot. Well, she did, though, because oh. she was like, oh, uh, he's a great coach. Mm -hmm. And then he's, and to German, you yeah, know, when yeah. they were in the pier, and yeah. it's like, yeah, she coached her in the dance. See, and I remember that, but I thought maybe she would email Actually, the video yeah, yeah. or something. She probably did later. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> now she will. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ooh, and mm -hmm. then also, too, uh, speaking of German, when he knocked out Derek. Oh yes. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bring it, bring it, bring it. Let's so. go. Did he knock him out? Because he really didn't knock yeah. him out. I mean, he right. hit him real good. He reached up and he hit him. <laughs> I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to German. He did. Okay, but hold on. Well, right. It was a good hit, but it was very much like a club hit, and it was like a sucker punch because he wasn't Define really, really ready. Define club hit. A club hit is when you're in the club, okay, and the other dude is not facing you, and he turns around, and they just walk up, and... And then you run away, <laughs> you know, or you get, you know, because all the commotion, so like the other dude can't can't do anything. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's a club like it's not a club hit. It was basically he didn't a club run hit. away though. No, well, he didn't uh, run away. He I mean, did, he did catch him off guard. He had to. <laughs> he did. Kind of. He was. Just, eh. 
But no, but they act like he hit the president or something. Like he didn't hit right. Obama. He hit you know a dude <laughs> right. like Derek Stino. Right. Ah. Who, by the way, turned over a new leaf. If you guys didn't notice, because on the red carpet it was not. I don't know. We've never seen him in that situation, but it seemed like he was trying to be more poised and more like yeah. He's sick. Serious. That's what it is. He's sick. Mm. He's sick. He's he got all the flu, so he's sick. And he's he deserved sick. it. So. I'm happy for German. I mean, I kind of want to see, like, team. actual fight, though. Like, you know, he hit him, okay, you know, then I want to see him actually duke it out. I don't want right. just to hit him and then, you know. Yeah. I was a little upset with Asha because she had made the comment about the fact that when she'd come to uh, German, yeah, and mm -hmm. she's like, hey, today, you know what, I was at Derek's house. I just want to be honest with I you know. because I want you to be able to trust me. Well, then, homie, why didn't you just tell him the full truth? Yeah. Why, why, why didn't you tell him? him? And, and she didn't yeah, tell him but, before. Too like she waited yeah. till she got yeah. home to talk because I didn't want you because I didn't want you to get mad. Phone yeah. call, but, no email, but, no tweets, yeah. or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram right? a picture. And of they had plans yeah. too. It's just yeah. Yeah. set him up and right. You know yeah. the, the, the apartment day. hunts, the, the date, yeah. the apartment yeah. hunt, everything, everything stood him up to go clean Derek's house. It's a wrap. And it was her idea. Yeah. Yes. Well, this type of girlfriend is not a bad one. Sorry, it's going downhill fast. Yeah. What would you do in that situation? Would you if you were German? If mm -hmm. I were German, yeah. um, I would I would you know see what see what Kyle is. Ah! is <laughs> Get the rest of my money out the bank. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 hey, uh, just went to the pawn uh, shop and um, let's get a crack. Uh, <laughs> see, but what do you guys what do you guys think is going on in German's mind right now? Because he's playing it so cool. He is mm. like. I, I mean, he, but I mean, obviously, up until this point, he's like, and bound, this is what I've been thinking all this time. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but that, I just, I don't know, like, especially, like, what the when he was watching them two dance, I was like, what? Yeah. Like, as a viewer, not yeah. like I'm part of the show, I'm like, listen, like, if that was... Like, if I, you know, my man or whatever, I'd be like, uh-uh. Like, if you ever, like, turn, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. dirty yeah. dance, yeah. I'd be like, listen, right. little girl. Right. <laughs> Get right. off my man. Right. Like, it no, makes the no. good TV. No, yeah, you know, of course I, it does. That's why it was awesome. But <laughs> I feel like he's trying too hard to be a good boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, like, he's like, trying too hard to world. be like, yeah. Well, yeah, but at the same oh. time, yeah. I, I get that his character is a nice guy, but sometimes you do have to put your foot down and be like, look. He and he was, did today. Yeah, he did. But I mean, not yeah. to her, to him. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it takes two for that situation to happen, and Asha is consciously, excuse me, caution. You what am I say. trying to say? You don't consciously. Conscious. Con see, now you messing all up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's on purpose. She knows what she's yeah, doing. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I am trying to say. Well, and then didn't he say something like, "You were just trying to help somebody out that you know needed your help." Like, I yeah. understand. No. I think it's going to be the end for the them. Gym. I don't know, because right. it's all going to fall back on Asha. You, you yeah. know, you bring your boyfriend to an event like that, and he knocks out one of the star players. Right. Like, it's, she's going to get in trouble, and she's going to be like, you're messing up my career. Right. And, right. And, but, I mean, doing? everything he's doing, he's getting put in a situation where he feels like less of a man. Yeah, he, he shouldn't, shouldn't go. go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I know he wants to be there for but her. He's but he's trying for her. Yeah. That's And, I mean, I think that's a, the best quality about German it's just yeah. like he's really trying and I mean she this yeah. is a new situation for Asha too like I mean she auditions for this thing really wasn't going to like they you know she was going to be in an office and so now she's doing this this is a whole new world new attention it's like it's for both of them it's kind of like something new that they're figuring out together mm -hmm. not necessarily in like you know the best ways right. always but um i feel like that's why there's so much conflict right now and hopefully with you know communication <laughs> i don't know it, it's a wrap. Uh, but do you guys think there's anything that german could be doing better mm. yeah he could be out you know tasting the other water no Listen, what? Not, I guess that's I agree. a man no, solution no, no. That's there, not there, there comes a, a time okay when you're like all right i see you i see you and you just go ahead and you know it's not his fault. Is yeah. it? Is it? Can you blame? You really can't. I mean, okay. If she's over here running around, going to this millionaire's house, doing who knows what, because he doesn't know what she's doing. Right. Oh, right. House, so, da, 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 da. so he doesn't know. So why are you saying that he needs to go test other waters if he, he doesn't, doesn't know, know yet? But because he thinks it it's even it worse than it is. Better. Exactly. So if he thinks <laughs> it's worse than it, than it really is, <laughs> it makes it it makes it feel better. Like okay, and then you know you can go home and, and face her, and then the bed isn't as cold anymore. You know when they're both laying in it because he's warmed up and he's ready to you know 
That he makes absolutely no up. sense whatsoever. I'm sorry. <laughs> like that logic doesn't make sense to me at all. Okay, if she's Either if way. she's going out and get, like she's okay, you're in February in the calendar and everybody <laughs> loves you, and then you go back to your boyfriend who you've kind of thinking about leaving, and he's really nice to you. You're not gonna. You, she doesn't want to be with him, if you know he's if he wants to be with her. Yeah. At this point in time, like she is co competition. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, because okay, well, she's first of all, she's second like guessing your relationship. Maybe y'all should, should break up. That's like, cut out. it, cut yeah, it clean. Don't happen. drag him through up. everything. They don't need to break up. Like they just, they just need to, you know, like she needs to feel like she's not number one in his life. And then once she, once she does that, she'll get her act together because she doesn't really want to lose him. Right. So that's why he needs to I go out know. and you know fiddle diddle and have yeah, fiddle diddle. diddle. I know, <laughs> as a woman, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> not being number one thing that doesn't yeah. make me like want you more oh, yes, I just, yeah. no it doesn't it, 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 no, it, it makes me irritated and want to leave you alone go yeah. away until, yeah. yeah until your thing doesn't work out with Derek then you're like damn exactly. I, I messed up the I messed best up thing in my guy. life that's, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. a guy move that's such a guy oh, move men do that point. all the time this game you know what? And the thing is, what's funny is when Asha shows up during the midst of everything, because she's the only one that supposedly cares or whatever, Derek, who she's used to always just trying to get at her and get at her, slams a door in her face, basically. And at that moment, she has that, huh? But you always want me. Not that she's Same thing. out loud saying it, but the, th the thought of it. And I'm getting angry at her as I'm watching it, because I'm like, girl, you're falling for that. Yeah. Yeah, because it works. That's what you're I know the exact feeling. It's happened to me before. Like you, like yeah, uh, uh, that girl is like, you know, you're with her, or whatever. You're like, man, and it gets old after a while, and then she, she gets someone with somebody else, and you're like, damn, I messed that up. Is that fear and alarm? then what? But then what? Then what happens? And then Do you, you try to get her back, or are you like, oh well? You punch boop. her boyfriend, and then you go to the gym and work out. <laughs> and, and you've done that, you, and that's yeah, worked you for go you. Go home, yeah. and you know. And is she conquest. your girlfriend right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are ready you single? For that. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you single? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, don't take any of his advice, because obviously I'm there's no the credibility right. behind everything that he's saying right. right now. Okay. Anyways. But Mark is a good catch, ladies. Yeah, you know. Marky out on Twitter. He's a, he's a great catch. He sings the, and all that, too. See, and now you all know he's single. Yeah. You know his Twitter. Yeah. Hit him up. We worked this out before. This uh, talk about relationships and then hook me up. Oh, my God. So funny. <laughs> anyway, Mark is just like, just like Dean Kane. He's down with the swirl. All I'm saying is. Down with the swirl. Oh, uh, what? And I can fly. <laughs> wow. Okay. So. See where you started? Um, my apologies, my apologies. So anyways, uh, now that we're done with this whole relationship forum, why don't we get back to the show a little bit and talk about maybe more so the people in the show, and I want to talk about some news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. So at this point in time, I actually want to turn the tables over to you so that way you have an opportunity to tell us a little bit about some of the things that you're currently working on or maybe recently worked on that should be coming out soon so we can look for you. Um, I am in the ABC Family Lounge um, on ABC Family. Once in a while, you'll see after or during Pretty Little Hours, different shows um, during the summer. And I've done a couple of uh, films, Too Dead to Kill and um, Dumbbells, and they're in post, so I don't know when they'll come out <laughs> soon, hopefully. Um, and I have a web series right now called Cowgirl Up. And it's on telefilms.com, and you can watch that too. Yeah, awesome. hit the floor, awesome. of course. Cool. Yeah. Will you pursue? And American Latino TV on Sunday. Well, you have to go AmericanLatino.tv to figure out where it plays. But here in LA, it's Sundays at four. So, do you think you'll ever pursue the singing thing at all? It's funny you should mention that. I am <laughs> working right now with um, a music manager and getting music and writing and. Yeah. What kind nice. of style of music you like? This is the for thing. You. For me, I like, um, I'm very like, anything with the Latin flavor, pop, Latin pop is really more. I mean, if I could do some kind of salsa type of track, I definitely want to do something like that. But that's more me, like the little Latin pop. Mm. Can you give us a little? Because I keep seeing little. Your personality is just so. A little Latin pop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like even when we were talking, pop. exactly. Yeah. Even when we were talking Latin before pop. the show started, we were watching the the screening of the show hit the floor, and you were talking, and you were giving us your little like just Latina flavor. It was so cute. So I want to see you do 
put you on the spot. Okay. Maybe do like a J Lo impression or something from the movie. Oh, from the movie. Oh God, that was so. That's J Lo right there. Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's I don't know what you say. Tell me to say. I don't know. Or, or, why don't you why don't you sing uh, one of one J Lo song there? Um, oh hell no. Um, oops. You know I mean I mean. Uh, <laughs> How about this? How about this? We have to do predictions, so we'll get into okay. predictions. But okay. as we do, you can give us your show predictions, but give us it. Um, you can like sing it though. Yeah. Hit the floor. Yeah. Wait, I can give you a prediction because I know. This. Well, then give us a pretend prediction. Well, my pretend prediction is. Que German is going to date maybe Yelena, I guess, yo no sé, because, you know, she's a little spicy and he needs somebody to push him un poquito. And Derek is going to be like, whatever, Yelena, tú eres too much. And he's going to be like, peace, bump basketball, I own a restaurant. Y después, <laughs> ¿qué más? Little Asha, she's going to be the star, porque eso es lo que ella quiere. She's so good. And Raquel, and she needs a baby daddy, okay? So, si tú estás watching, hit her up because she needs a little help with Miguelito. Y quién más? Uh, Sloan and P. Ay, Dios mío, qué caliente. Que estaba eso en la televisión hoy. I don't know. I'm a little fishy about that, but go get it, girl. Hit it. And quién más? No sé. That's my prediction. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty awesome, awesome girl. Girl. I don't know what you said, though. Yeah, I don't know what I said either. Hey! hey! I'll do it, too. I'll do it, too. Oh, God. Confessions, oh, predictions. Oh, man. Yeah. I, you know, that's, that's it, it almost sounded like we hit the sap button on, on, on the TV. <laughs> yeah. going, yeah. OMG, that was awesome. So, <laughs> do any y'all have Pharrell predictions since we don't know what's going on? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it's kind of just unwinding, like, where it's kind of getting pretty obvious. But I think the whole thing with uh, Kyle and Olivia, mm -hmm. it's just going to, they're going to keep having, like, more and more tension. And she's, she's, I mean, she's, she's really mad that Kyle kind of, like, outsmarted her. And she's, right. like, the head of the team. So I think there's going to be more tension with the two of them. And German and Nasha, I think they're done. I mean, after that, after that punch, I mean, she's like, She's gonna be like, you can't be messing up my career, and you can't be doing stuff like that. So I think that's gonna be a major breaking point. <laughs> All right, Nick. Uh, we're gonna see more sexiness with uh, Sloan and Pete, because uh, I, I just I just like watching that. Who, by the yeah. way, has an uh, amazing body. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Shut up. Yo, listen, hey, hey. <laughs> You're like, hey, boo boo, hey, girl. <laughs> I I tweeted it. Oh, she was rocking that. Uh, <laughs> Nick is yeah. available too. German. I think she's married. Is she married, right? Kimberly? She's not married. She's not. Oh. Oh. But she does have a boyfriend. Oh. He's so hot. Uh, <laughs> German and Asha, they're like you know she said they're they're done. That's basically it. Um, Elena and I wasn't calling Rob. Uh, Terrence. Eh, I don't know. On the rocks. On the rocks. Kyle. You know, of course she's she's gonna uh, you know weasel her way into getting the rest of this this money. Um, I don't know. I think I think something's gonna go on with Raquel and uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Pete. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think I think something just something's gonna gonna happen to where, but like, it's, it's gonna happen, but it's not gonna happen, you know. And then like her her baby daddy's huh. gonna come in and be like, wait a minute, and then so it's gonna be like a, a little altercation there, um, and that's it. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Take you kind of threw me for a loop because before we've been predicting that German and Helena possibly something gonna happen. Oh. But I think I understood your Spanish. <laughs> Maybe it won't happen. But I think Raquel, um, since she's here, um, I think she's going to be on the dance team in the next two episodes. Really? I think something's going to happen. I thought because uh, Kyle was about to get mm -hmm. kicked off, uh. I didn't know that she could cry that good and get back on the team. <laughs> I think Raquel's going to see some... some uh, cause she, she's some on the action. poster, man. She's on the hit the... F <laughs> Something. I mean, she was taking dance classes Ooh. over the summer before the she show. She's started. been doing ballet since she was five. We're seeing she yeah. like she's not right yeah. in front of us too. <laughs> and I think Kyle doesn't get the money, but I think she almost does, and then then something happens. I think something's connected with her and Mia too. I don't like. Oh, oh. indirectly I think, though. Indirectly, because like because she, she didn't know, who, huh? she know who she was. Yeah, but I think and and we see that next episode. You know, uh, what's his, what's the owner's name? Oscar. 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 You know, they got, you know, something's happening right there. You want some extra work. Yeah, extra yeah. work. Yeah. She's got to make extra money. She's working overtime, working doubles. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
think she's going to pay it off. I don't know how or what, but she's so smart. She's mm -hmm. shown us how clever she is. Yeah. I think she'll definitely get that situated, and obviously we'll find out what it is. I... Mm -hmm. Want to know what that is, though, that you could owe that much money if it's something like a debt. Maybe, and this is just really reaching out there, maybe somebody in her family got really sick and it's a hospital bill or something. Because why would you no. put yourself, oh, you hush, okay? <laughs> why would you put yourself through all that, you know, like the stripping and then this and that to pay huh. something off if it wasn't something you desperately wanted? Student loans. What? Yeah, she was Sally saying. Mays, well, she was saying that much would buy her freedom. So freedom, yeah, yeah. yeah but that's when maybe she got herself. I don't know. Because the hospital's sort of too easy. I'm saying like that. That's too easy. But that's your prediction. But that's too easy. Yeah, just take my <laughs> prediction from me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Okay. So anyway, um, I do think that Asha and Derek are going to get involved, and obviously her and German are no more. I just think it's really frustrating, that's all. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like that's the end of our show today. But thank you guys so much for joining us. And thank Yay, you yeah. so much, Valerie, yeah. for joining thank us today. Yeah. Can you please they leave us your Twitter handle so that people can follow you? <laughs> it's at Val's Tweet. Awesome. And you guys? Yes. <laughs> um, it's at Layla627. Follow me all over the internet at the Nick Perdue. You can follow me, Marky e. Allen, or on Plenty of Fish for the dating sites. Yeah, okay. Wait, what? what? Just what? kidding. <laughs> no, he's not. I'm not, I'm not I don't think I can. Yeah, plenty of fish. All right, <laughs> I'm Ali Kona Bradford. You can follow me at Kiss My Passport. So, again, thank you guys so much for joining, and we will see you all next week. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch, or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.